Okay, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to look at how to convert the temperature conversion app from Objective C to Swift. Now, most of you would be familiar with um, the drag and drop features of Swift in terms of creating. Uh, labels, uh, sliders, and other objects. So a lot of you have found that a very easy thing to do, uh, and I think most of you are actually quite used to it now, which is fantastic. So uh, well done to those of you who've been able to do that. But people have struck a bit of trouble with the conversion aspect of the actual uh, mathematical formula and the way in which we can actually uh, convert uh, the slider from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So what we're going to do in this uh, shoot is I'm going to show you uh, how or the key areas that you need to focus on um, to make your conversion from Objective C to Swift successful. Okay so what we have here on the right is the temperature conversion app, okay, we've got it in Objective C. Okay, so as you can see, the key function is this one here, which is IB action change temperature. Now, if you have a look at the coding, it's um, very much Objective C, of course. We've got the int temp c so what we've done is we've declared a temporary variable called temp c and we, we're saying that that's equal to the slider celsius value okay so whatever the celsius value is on the slider we're temporarily storing the variable uh, in memory as temp c okay and in the next line Okay, we've got, we're saying, well, we're assigning LBL Celsius, the text in NSString format, and we're placing temp C in there. Okay, so that when we actually run the app, what will display in the label Celsius, okay, is the variable temp C. Okay, now, the third line is the key, or is the actual mathematical calculation of this. So what we've got here is we've got the integer temp f, okay, which is another temporary variable, this time Fahrenheit. We're saying that equals temp c multiplied by 9 divided by 5 plus 32. Now that's the actual conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So if you multiply whatever the temperature is in Celsius with the rest of this equation, that will give you the temperature in Fahrenheit. Now once we've got that temp F value, we're then going back to the label Fahrenheit, okay, and we're calling it as self. So in other words, whatever the value is in the slider, okay, will be converted using the mathematical equation and then displayed as temp F in the label Fahrenheit. Okay, so we've declared it as a string of course and then we're simply displaying it using of course our quotation marks, uh, percentage sign and D, which is all good for uh, Objective-C. And this particular app works fine. Okay, so that's in Objective C, that block of code. Now, over here to the left, we have, I'll just highlight it for a minute. Okay, so what we have here is the same IB action function as we had over here in Objective C. And you can see the differences here. We've got uh, a dash with Swift, we have 
uh, the at symbol, uh, and then we have the function slider value changed UI slider. We open again, open the uh, parentheses. But now on the first line, instead of calling it int temp c, we're calling it variable temp c, which I think is a better way of actually calling it. So we've got the variable temp c, and that equals whatever the slider value is. So instead of calling it SLI Celsius as we did over here with Objective C, um, I've just called it slider. Okay, slider dot value. All right, so it keeps it nice and simple. Then on the second line, we have self. Okay, dot label Celsius dot text, which is basically basically what we've done over here in Objective C. Same thing. Okay, except. The label is abbreviated to LBL. Here I've just given it the full name. Okay, now the big difference is after the equal sign here with Swift. You can see what we're doing is to, um, to actually display temp C, we've simply got quotation marks, a backward slash, brackets, temp C, close the brackets, and then close the quotation marks. And that's the equivalent of what we have over here in Objective C with NS string, string with format, um, colon, at, and all the rest of the symbols put in there. So you can see it's a much easier way of displaying a variable, okay, displaying a variable either in a label or in a text field or wherever else we want to display it. And third line is Again, we're declaring it as a variable, temp f equals temp c times 9 divided by 5 plus 32, exactly the same as what we have over here in Objective-C, except you know, we're not calling temp f int, we're calling it a variable. And again, uh, on the fourth line, we're then taking the result of the mathematical equation here, we're taking temp f and we're displaying it in the label Fahrenheit so that whenever temp c increases, it performs a calculation, the temp f variable is returned and displayed in the label Fahrenheit. And that's displayed again by using the quotation mark, backward slash, brackets, temp f, close brackets, and close the quotation mark. And you can see there's a big difference here compared to Objective C with how it looks. So I think with um, with Swift, it is a much simpler method. There are some differences, and that's the sort of thing you're going to have to get your head around uh, because when you come across um, further application development where you need to convert Objective C apps to Swift you'll need to take these factors into account, okay? And once you've had a bit of practice at it, you'll find converting the apps uh, quite a simple process or an easier process than it is at the moment. It's just that you need to learn the differences between the two programming languages. Um, but I think most of you would agree that uh, Swift is a lot easier in the way in which it handles declaring objects um, and variables, you're finding it a lot easier than Objective-C. Anyway, I hope that's helped, and um, good luck making the, uh, the app, the temperature conversion app in Swift.